Now here's a feature that has mathematicians and scientists from all over the world salivating, and that's the ability to add equations into PowerPoint 2010. So let's go to a blank PowerPoint slide and take a look and see how that works. So basically to add an equation, just go ahead and click on Insert, and then you've got your equation here. Uh, when you click on that, you see you've got a number of equations to work with. We're just going to go ahead and uh, click on this one, and uh, this inserts the default equation. And then uh, once you click on that, uh, you can edit it, and you can see all your editing tools are up here. So you've got your tools, your symbols, and then the different structures that you might use for the equation. Now one of the problems, or I think one of the benefits that you have in PowerPoint 2010 is, so you create an equation, and um, you might not actually want this equation uh, as an actual text file. You might actually want it as an image. So a neat thing you can do is just right-click on it, copy it, and then paste that as an image file. So now you have the equation as a picture, and you can use that in a website, uh, use that on, in other documents, and it's just a picture file. Uh, rather than uh, this text file. And sometimes the problem with these text files and some of these symbols is that uh, the rendering doesn't work or you run into other issues just with recognizing the symbols. So being able to create your equation and then saving it as a graphic file uh, comes in handy. It really comes in handy too if you do like rapid e-learning development and you do PowerPoint to Flash. Sometimes uh, the PowerPoint to Flash has problems recognizing all the symbols and converting that. So what I would do in that type of case is I create my equation and uh, I just move it off to the side. So I create my equation, I save it as an image file. I would go ahead at that point, you know, I could animate it or do whatever I want to with it. And then um, if we go to the selection pane, what you can do is on your actual equations, let's say this is equation one. Um, and then this would be the image of equation one. So you could say IMG um, equation one, or whatever, however you want to title it. And then you could turn the equation one off. So you could use the image in your uh, course development and not have to worry about the rendering of the actual uh, text file. So that might actually come in handy and, and save you some time. Uh, it's a lot easier than trying to troubleshoot a bunch of rendering issues. So anyway, that's I think is a kind of a neat solution. In e either case, it's kind of neat that you can uh, create the equations and then save them as images and use them elsewhere.